southern blotting procedure the procedure used to perform the technique southern blotting is that first of all dna is extracted from the cells once dna is purified or it is extracted from the cells this dna is cleaved with the help of restriction enzymes after the restriction enzyme digestion the resulting fragments they are separated on the basis of their size by using electrophoresis the dna fragments are denatured and transferred to nitrocellulose membrane for the analysis so these are the few initial steps for the southern blot that first of all dna is purified then that dna is cleaved with the help of restriction enzymes once the dna is digested then it is run on the gel electrophoresis to separate the resulting fragments and then these dna fragments they are denatured and they are transferred to nitrocellulose membrane when the fragments they are transferred to nitrocellulose membrane then a labeled probe is added to the blocked membrane and incubated for several hours to allow that the probe molecule will find their targets on the dna blot is incubated with wash buffers containing nacl and detergent to wash away excess probe once the washing is performed then the radioactive probes they enable by auto radiographic detection so if we summarize the procedure of the southern blotting is that once the dna is denatured and it is transferred to the membrane the label probe is added that find their target on the entire dna once it is bind to the dna then the excessive probe is washed and the radioactive probe is detected with the help of auto radiography so this is the procedure that how southern blot is performed here we can see diagrammatically that how southern blot is performed this is the dna this dna is digested with the help of restriction enzymes then it is run on the gel electrophoresis so that we can separate the bands here we can see these are the bands once they are separated then these bands they are transferred to the membrane here we can see nitrocellulose membrane and the gel once the bands they are transferred on nitrocellulose membrane here we can see that the bands they have been transferred on nitrocellulose membrane then probe is added probe is already labeled when the probe is added to the membrane it attaches to the specific target or the complementary sequence on the dna then that probe is studied with the help of auto radiography so this is the procedure that how southern blot is performed in the labs so if we conclude the procedure of the southern blot southern blot is a technique which is used to identify a particular sequence of the dna or a particular mutation from the dna sequence